<clears throat> check, check, check. Well, <laughs> hey guys and girls. <laughs> This is Gordon Overkill, and well, today we will start a new series of Ancient Domains of Mystery. I got a question in the last video of the last very successful series with Bill, and I was asked to do some kind of a, a tutorial run where I explain a little bit more of what I'm doing and maybe make the game a little more accessible to new players. Well, I think I did not do that for a pretty long time, so let's give that a try. That's what we want to do today. We start a new Adom run with a tutorial character. Let's go. New game. We play in roguelite mode, of course, as we always do. I think we will just fate roll the character. I don't want to play anything in particular. So fate star sign, fate sex, fate race, Fate Profession and randomly distributed attributes and the music is super loud. Wait a second, I have to tune that down a little bit on my ears at least. Let's try it like this. It should be better. So we also Fate roll our attributes. Let's see what we get. You're born in the month of the wolf. To be a female human, you have red hair brown eyes and light complexion. Your parents were very poor people. They loved you and cared for you, although you had to hunger more than once. As a child, your parents cared a lot for you. Despite all circumstances, you enjoyed a happy and fine childhood. In your youth, you enjoyed competition against others to the fullest. You were a very active kid. Your life as a young adult was characterized by steady determination. Your goal lay clearly ahead of you and you never strayed from your path. At the age of 32 you end your apprenticeship. You are now a fully learned priest. And you know what guys, we will roll a new character. Because we just played a human priest in our last run. By the way, hi Kerbox, great to see you. <laughs> Yeah, we random rolled exactly the same character that we are that we played in the last run, and I think that would be a little bit boring. So um, let's just um, uh, give uh, alert to this character, call her Nope, and we will not play her. Skip that. We will instantly roll another character. Yeah, Kerbox, long time no seen. You're right. And hi, Nysak, welcome to today's stream. You came just in time to see us um, quitting back to main menu and starting a new character. Because we just random rolled a human priest and that's exactly what we played in the last run with Bill. So, new game, roguelike mode, everything fate rolled. And hopefully this time we get something else. You are born in the month of the wolf. Yet again the month of the wolf to be a female dark elf. Okay, that's something different. You have white hair blue eyes and black complexion. Your parents belong to the nobility. They are rich, respected, wealthy and own more than they can count. Oh, it's pretty much the opposite of what we just rolled. As a child, you lived through happy days. Your parents tried to ease your life as much as possible and gave you a lot of comfort. But well, as it is with many uh, spoiled young kids, during your youth you were very lazy. You slept a lot and didn't care too much for your duties and tasks. Your parents were not very happy with you. I can understand that to a certain degree. <laughs> as a young adult, you tried many occupations before finally deciding on one to pursue. This has left you with a very broad base of law. At the age of 150, you end your apprenticeship. You are now a fully learned monk. So that's what we are. A female dark elven monk. I think that sounds pretty nice. By the way, Nysek, thanks a lot for the fourth consecutive month of subscription. 
totally great support thank you yeah we are gonna have a tough time keeping her not burned you're right Kervox. this dark elven monk is not gonna be a very very uh, strong lifter well since we play a beginner character hmm you get two talents to start with and i recommend to most of the people who are new to the game to take the quick talent gives you a little bit of a speed advantage and this speed can be the deciding factor between death and retreat so we definitely start with quick what's the second talent we want to start with i think we rather not go for treasure hunter because treasure hunter pays off in the mid game and uh, most beginners struggle a little harder to survive the early game one thing that you can never have enough of is bonus to your shooting skills so I think good shot is probably a good call for this character. Little more damage and to hit chance with ranged weapons. We want to get a ranged weapon as soon as possible. Yeah, guys, have you got an idea for a name for a female dark elven monk? I must confess I'm a little bit short on ideas right now. So uh, if you could come up with something, we will definitely pick the first choice. While we're thinking about that, I, I said that in the beginning, uh, I will try to play a little more of a beginner-friendly uh, game where I try to uh, explain some of the basic concepts of the game. And uh, Okay, that's four kitty smileys. Uh, I don't think that's a name. Evelyn? Or Evelyn? I think Evelyn is a nice name. Good call, Kervox. So our character is called... Evelyn. So, Evelyn's story begins right here. For 6,000 years, the world of Ancaria was a serene world unmolested by the forces of chaos. But now, the sinister forces of evil and darkness have opened a gateway somewhere deep within the mountains of the Dracula chain. Terrors from unknown dimensions flood the world of Ancaria and wreck havoc, spreading corruption even faster. Now it's up to you to explore the Dracula chain, meet its inhabitants, find the source of chaos and defeat it. Or maybe even join forces with it to conquer the world. We will see. But the first thing we see up here in the top right corner, that's Evelyn. She starts with 22 hit points. Not too much, but not too bad either. We have played more fragile elves. Eight power points. If we learn spells, I think monks are pretty decent learning spells. We have just one point of protection value. Not a lot. These are the basic statistics of the character. Strength, learning. Uh, strength 13. Not that bad. I think we can live with that. We can increase it to 15 with carrying heavy stuff around. Learning 13. We need more if we want to become spellcaster eventually. Willpower 20, we got a bonus from our burst star sign, not bad. Dex 21, dexterity, very good, we need that for ranged combat and dodging. Toughness 12, not bad for an elf either. We can get it up to 13, that's not too much, but we, we will find means to improve it even further. Charisma 5, ah, she is not exactly what you call a charismatic person. Appearance 11, that's decent. For an elf, ah, not the most beautiful of elves, I think. Mana 20, pretty nice. And finally, 11 points on Perception. Hmm, could get a little more on that either. Take a look at our inventory. We're wearing a rope, gives us plus one point of protection, and a pair of sandals. Apart from that, we've got a quarter staff and a loaf of spider bread. So very, very basic equipment as it's uh, usual for uh, monks. One thing that I like to do with characters such as Evelyn is I unequip all her clothes right where we start you would say um gordon you pervert what are you doing the reason is when you fight in melee range without wearing clothes you can use the f buttons to go to berserk tactics f2 f1 is berserk f7 is coward and you've got everything in between a berserker without clothes goes into true berserking mode and does a crap ton of damage in the beginning, that's often an advantage because it allows you to kill the enemy so fast that you take less damage than you would with one point of protection value. Yeah. 
take a look at our skills. We have alertness, very, very helpful skill that allows you to dodge uh, enemy combat spells. Athletics, very good too, that improves the chance of increasing our physical stats. Climbing, we will need that later in the game. Concentration, higher power point regeneration, not bad if we go into a castle path. Dodge is also an excellent spell, self-explanatory I think. Find weakness, higher chance to score critical hits, also very very nice skill. First age gives a little HP uh, regeneration after you take damage if you apply it uh, successfully. Haggling, no, not that important. Healing, super important talent, improves basic regeneration. Listening, don't have to care about that. Literacy for reading scrolls and books. And finally, stealth. That's an absolutely amazing skill set. Alertness, athletics, concentration, dodge, find weakness, and healing in the starting skills. That's excellent. Evelyn, if she turns chaotic, yeah, maybe we should change her name. Then she, she actually is chaotic. Take a look at this. She starts as a chaotic character. Ah. Well, we will see how that plays out. Our first goal is uh, taking a short look into this outlaw settlement. No, I don't think we do that. Let's evade this fight. We don't want to fight early on. We first go up here and kill this hobgoblin inside this small dungeon. I will quickly explain this dungeon is a dangerous place. Every monster spawning in this dungeon is twice the level of the character, twice the current level. So now that we are level 1, this guy is level 2, that's no problem, we can easily kill it. Ah, uh, Kervax, that might be a call. Let's not kill this goblin and instead see if we can find the the goblin camp for some rocks easy first kill we'll probably not do an ultra ending and here we found it you find a well hidden secret campsite deep in this forest let's enter it and explore its secrets and see if we can survive that there is a lot of nice stuff to be found here we feel uneasy but i think we can do it here comes the first goblin, and this guy's a rock thrower. So we go to berserk mode, and we slash him, and smash him, kill him. Pick, let's eat his corpse. Eating corpses, never a bad idea. And we instantly find a medium shield. Not bad, we will surely make use of that, but not right now. We will keep true berserking these goblins down. Okay, we took a little bit of damage, we took a little more damage. Can we apply first aid? Yeah, we take care of some of our wounds, getting a little bit of HP back. What we do now, we instantly equip these rocks. Because uh, thrown rocks might not sound like something special, but they are useful, believe me. And we've got more of them than we will ever need. That's excellent. We've got a stack of 70 rocks. It's perfect. We'll try to train our thrown rock skill from now on as much as we can. With 70 rocks, I think that will carry us pretty far if we can get it up to a little bit of training. <coughs> even more rocks picked it all up kill this guy from a distance perfect oh, that's so many rocks it's probably we will get burned soon hi cos bandito welcome to today's stream and yeah, guys as you can imagine uh, ranged combat is super effective simply because it allows you to hit your enemies without giving them a chance of hitting you back Especially in Adom, range combat is super strong. And we just improved our thrown rocks uh, and clubs skill to level 1. That means from now on we get plus 2 to hit, plus 1 damage. Perfect. That's in addition to the plus 1, plus 1 bonus we get from our talent. Here comes a goblin berserker. I hope we can soften him up a little bit. Yes, that worked perfectly fine. There's another berserker. I think he saw us. Can we take him out? I hope we can. Nice, and we reach level 2. Perfect. Leave some for the Courage Quest. Nah, we will find enough goblins later on in the game, I think. We cannot take the Courage Quest at low level anyways, Kervox. It's, it's just goblin rock throws. There will be enough to uh, automatically finish the Courage Quest. We rather take the early game boost here. 
and we increase our alertness athletics dodge and I think one more dodge uh, no, we don't have more we have just three increases okay and we kill these guys with a with the rocks with the ease that's really good comes the next guy throw one shot him perfect yeah these two points of bonus damage we get and three points of bonus to hit it's really something let's now increase dodge a little further find weakness and healing i think nice and for our talent we take keen shot another two points to hit and damage for our ranged attacks yeah that's probably the first important hit, hint you get from me abuse missile weapons they can make the game a lot easier for you even if it's just plain and simple thrown rocks let's eat one of these corpses just so we don't get hungry anytime soon this door is locked we want to open the door hi one silver hand we want to open this door and um, we have to kick it. We don't have a key, so we have to kick the door. We don't have a spell either. If you kick such a door, you don't want to do it standing directly in front of the door. Because there's a possibility that the door is trapped with a stone block trap. And the stone block always falls directly in front of the door. So we go one step up and kick the door from a diagonal angle. We could still get hit by a fireball, but uh, the chance is a lot lower. Same with all other doors that we will open early in the game. I think let's try go here first and kill the ogre later. Kick this door as well. There comes a goblin chieftain. I hope we can. Yeah, okay, we at least did some nice damage to him. Ouch. Oh, that hurt. That hurt a lot. So now we go to coward mode. And I think our HP is below one third. Uh, no, it's not. Can we outrun him with our speed bonus? Can we get a little advantage if we just run away from him? Probably not. Can we berserk him? <gasps> that hurt badly. Now we definitely have the speed bonus. That's good. Okay, time to explain another concept. If you are in berserk mode, and you are on ve uh, in coward mode and you're on at very low hp you are faster than your enemy you get a significant speed boost and that should allow us as you can see to outrun this guy so we just try to get a little advantage and now kite him and finish him off with rocks need to hit one rock to kill him i think yes and we've got him yeah super handy feature but of course we didn't want to take that much damage <laughs> that was a little bit risky um now we are practically unable to fight anymore because our HP is too low. So we will just pick up the stones that we threw at him. And I think from here on... No, wait a second. Maybe that's not that bad. Get a marble ring? That sounds nice. We are faster than pretty much anything now. That should not be too bad if we want to fight the ogre. Where is he? Here he is. So, up here. We can just kite the ogre now. Perfect, we killed him. Reaching level 4. Curvoice, thanks a lot for 6 consecutive months of uh, subscribing. That's half a year. Amazing. Thanks a lot. Very much appreciated. Meanwhile, we increase our alertness twice. Athletics once. I think that's what we want because Athletics 60 is a benchmark from which on you get an increased chance to increase your physical stats. Let's see what this ogre protected. Short sword, a slimy potion, fresh meat, and a little bit of gold. We take that. Let's just walk a little bit around the whole complex first, so we can probably pick up some more rocks. 
I'm not even sure if we need some more rocks. We already have a ton of them. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Again, I misclicked. I misclicked, but we are now fast enough to kite him. Yeah, one silver hand. This speed boost is super, super, super useful. So, actually, uh, with such a big supply of missiles as we have now, uh, we are stronger while at low HP than we would be at high HP. Kovax, I'm not sure yet. I think I will try to get literacy above 50. Oh no, we regenerated some HP, so we, are, we lost the speed, the speed boost. So many rocks with us. Oh, we are seriously slowed down by all the stuff we're carrying. Come on, dude. By the way, Throne Rocks is already level 3. We now have plus 6 to hit, plus 4 damage, and plus 1 range. Especially this plus 1 range makes a big difference. That's one more free shot at every enemy. Yeah, nice, like you're right. You only get the speed boost when we are, I think, below one third of your max HP. So it's it's a bit of a gamble. What do we get here? Um, oh, that's a mithril broadsword. Not bad. A blanket, a hat. You also take the apples and the gold. But a mithril broadsword? That's a decent melee weapon. I think we can instantly equip that. That's definitely better than our stuff. Oh, no. I equipped the shield. That was not what I wanted. I wanted the broadsword. Mithril broadsword. 1d7 plus 4. Oh no, we got hit. That's a little bit risky against these rock throwers. But I think we are by far the better rock thrower. Do we want to train slings now? Slings do a bit more damage. But... Hmm. Your sling could always get destroyed. I'm not the biggest fan of slings if you don't find Whirlwind the artifact sling. I, I think I'd rather stay with... Uh oh, that's a little dangerous. 8 HP. Can we apply first aid? Nope. And we die. Oh no, I'm an idiot. Why did I do that? Ah, you know what? That was actually a, a goblin beast master. That was not a rock thrower. We should just have kited him. Ah, I'm an idiot. Well, I think um, short run. <laughs> we keep in mind what we just learned. <laughs> Back to the main menu. We need a new character. Uh, yeah. Oh, God, that was so bad. Anyways. Evelyn, that was a short adventure. Doesn't count. This one's gonna be a lot easier. Because we were born in the month of the candle. One of the two best starting months, I think. And we're born as a female hearthling. And we just make it short. We are a female hearthling. Assassin. That means... Thrown daggers incoming. Female Hearthling Assassin. We take, uh, I think, pretty much the same starting talents we took last time. Take quick. Good shot. But we can also start with keen shot. Um, and since I know that I, I kind of like nah, Evelyn, it doesn't fit to a Hearthling. Hearthling is really not bad, Kurvax. We will go full-scale rock thrower in this run, I think. All we need is a name for a Hearthling. So, guys. We need another idea. Evelyn didn't make it very far. Misplay on my side. How do we want to call our new character? How do we want to call our female Hearthling assassin? Corinna. Okay, that's a nice name. Cos Bandito, that's it. She's called... Oh, what am I writing here? <laughs> Corinna, that's her name. 
We know the story from the start, so we don't need to uh, read that again. And see, she's even more fragile than our last character. Just 17 HP, 9 strength, that's not a lot, 12 learning, 11 willpower, 22 dex, quite a lot, and she's pretty tough, I like this, toughness 16. Charisma rather low, appearance also rather low, magic rather low, and a little bit of perception. Probably not the best stats, but I think a uh, hurfling assassin, that's something. We start with two points of protection value. Get a short sword and a dagger, but we will not use, uh, not double use, uh, double wield weapons from the start on. So we unequip this dagger here. Instead, we put the... Oh, we've got a boomerang. Boomerang sell for super high money. If we can reach a good shop and sell this boomerang, we've got a solid money boost to start with. And we'll throw these daggers. We've got a glowing ring. You cannot unequip that because it's probably blessed or uh, cursed. We are a hurfling. Hurflings tend to start with cursed rings. Lord of the Rings. <clears throat> Apart from that, we've got our cooking equipment. We've got poison potions for tough opponents. And two rations. Our skills. Alchemy, alertness, archery, backstabbing, climbing, cooking, detect traps, dodge, find weakness, first aid, food preservation, gardening, haggling, and many, many other amazing spells. The one thing we're missing this time is healing. But healing we can get from one of the starting quests. Okay, let's go. We will take the same risk we took in the last game. We will go to the secret campsite. Let's enter this. But this time, we will not throw rocks at them, we rather throw daggers, which have a higher range. As you can already see, we can throw these daggers at max range. And these goblins struggle pretty hard with our th against our thrown daggers. Do we have one more? Yes, we have one more. Perfect. We need to pick them up though. One dagger, another one, throw, and... We enrage level 2. Alertness. Alertness is very hard to increase later, so we uh, want to do that early. Archery. And dodge. Yeah, Kovax are right. This is a significantly stronger character. The thrown daggers in the early game are super strong. Only problem is we might run out of daggers eventually, so it might be an idea to... Um, Train the rocks anyways. Level up again. Alertness. Detect traps. And dodge. We level up again and this time we take quick shot. The first very important missile talent gives us 10% um, faster ranged attacks. And we do not want to fight any enemy in melee. We want to fight them all from a distance, if we can. Let's also pick up the rocks. By the way, if you uh, attack your enemies in ranged combat, make sure to also always um, always use uh, Berserk mode if uh, there is no enemy adjacent in melee range. We have got thrown daggers at level 4 already. I, 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 I. Thrown rocks is already level 4 as well. But I kind of like to use the sling. But on the other hand, no, the sling might be cursed. The sling might be cursed, and we don't want to take this risk. If we get stuck with a cursed sling, we cannot use our thrown daggers anymore. That's currently our strongest weapon if we have to fight a really strong opponent. Okay, we need daggers here. Level 4, nice. Um, let's keep working on archery. Let's take detect traps again. And we'll keep working on dodge. That's the ones we focus on at the moment. Okay, we've missed the first time. So far, no single goblin reached melee range. We killed all of them from a distance. Okay, that's two misses in a row. Perfect. Finding a scroll from one of them, arrows from the other one. Don't have a bow, of course, but we will get a bow. That's just a matter of time. 
Okay, again, we have to get through that door. But with a new character, we can do that in a safer manner. We use detect traps a couple of times. We don't find a trap, so probably the door's not trapped. Hi, Tokrat. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Can you have even more range with stones? Yes, you can. Yeah, we will have decent damage with rocks, that's true. Let's train the rocks. We will have more rocks. Anyways. Ooh, who are you? Thanks for saving me. I pledge my sword to you and will serve you faithfully as a sign of my gratitude. Oh, we've got a sword, swordsman buddy now. That's nice. He's a little injured, but uh, he will surely help us. Let's uh, see if there's a trap at this door. Doesn't seem so. So we can kick it. Kick in the door. Nice. So... Let's see how we do with rocks against these guys. Level 5 already. Perfect. Alertness. Archery. And dodge. And we will focus heavily on this couple of uh, skills, I think. So. That worked pretty well. We take the long way to the ogre. And for the ogre, I think I want to swap back to the daggers. Because they still do more damage. I don't think the ogre will reach Monday. No, just two hits and the ogre goes down. Perfect. He protects a spear, a potion, fresh meat, a fortune cookie and the gold. Swap back to the rocks. We will not use the boomerang. I absolutely want to sell the boomerang rather than using it. Yeah, nice. That's exactly how I want to see it. The increased re range, the increased damage. We are a beast of rock throwing. Took a little bit of damage. That's the first time the enemies even hit us. And we get one of these damage points back through uh, first aid. Oops. If we're really clean playing, I think it's uh, useful to use first aid pretty often. Another point of damage. But no chance to apply first aid this time. Black helmet, not bad. That's a significant increase to our um, to our armor class. Though it um, will probably limit our line of sight. Let's try that. Minus two perception, but plus two. Protection. We've got already got uh, protection four now. That's not bad. I think we take that. In the early game, protection equals survival. So if you can increase your protection early on, it's almost almost always worth doing. So what did we forget? What do we have down here? A metal cap, a short spear, a blanket, and those pieces of gold. I think the spear that we just found might actually be a Mithras bear. Indeed it is. It is a cursed Mithras bear, so we cannot unequip it anymore. This is a little bit sad, because we already had daggers uh, to level 5, but uh, I don't mind. We will use this Mithras bear for a while. We start with the Mithras, Mithras bear, that's actually pretty cool. How? Yeah, yeah, this was the entrance to this room. But it has just a couple of bones. Getting hungry, we should maybe see if they dropped a corpse over here. Nope, no corpse. How do we get... Is there a secret door here? Yes. And here we have... Ah, yeah, the guaranteed shield. Perfect. We take just everything. The clothes, the shield, the shield, short sword, watery potion. That's a potion of water. Very nice. Hi, Tokrat, by the way. Welcome to today's stream. And we're overburdened. Crap. Let's equip the shield. By shield, I mean uh, the medium shield. Nice. And see what we want to drop. The hood. The small shield. 
shot salts and the shot spear. And I think that should be okay. We're strained exclamation mark, but we want to train on strength anyways. So I think that's everything we want from here. Successful start. Oh no, there are still a couple of enemies left. Next, let's take a... No, we need to eat something. Eat an iron ration. Let's take a look up here. Just spawn a couple of enemies who are not super high level at least. So, can we kill this guy? Yes. Can we kill that guy? Yes. Level 6, perfect. You can now create potions from any other potion. Poisons, nice. We will now increase... Okay. Getting a little slower here. Detect traps to 63. Dodge. And we could also put a little bit in food preservation. That's one that I that I also want to get up, at least to 60. So uh, corpses last a lot longer. Um, hmm. Shield specialist, far shot, careful. Um, very quick is a very good option. But I think I want to become... A a missile weapon expert. We take the affinities for the missile weapons. We want to become a true missile weapon expert with this character. So let's take it first. Affinity with... We're starting with rocks and clubs. Plus three to hit damage and so on with rocks and clubs. We take um, rocks and clubs, crossbows and also uh, bows later. Starting with rocks and clubs. All out. You lose all sense of hope getting out of your life. But your muscles feel stronger. I think that's worth. That's a good deal. Can we read these scrolls? How good is our literacy skill? 12. Okay, that's really bad. Um, can we kill this guy? Check that. Yeah, we can. Good. I want to pick up this broadsword before we go. Ideally, also our rocks. And now... Bye bye. Nah, uh, I don't think so. I don't think we will see the raid a lot in uh, in this run. Let's go down here and see if we can kill a couple of outlaws here in the outlaw se settlement, Lavenilo Hill. Most of the uh, enemies are hostile, or at least many enemies are hostile in this little outlaw village. But uh, with our supreme ranged skills, we should be able to kill them pretty easily. See, uh, we have um, plus 30 to hit, 1d4 plus 19 damage with our thrown rocks together with the affinity. That's ridiculously strong. This troll over here is the shopkeeper of the black market. And we want to take a look at the black market. Sometimes it has stuff that you really want to keep. Also, the black market allows us to... Um, check the quality of the items 14 gold we are offered for this helmet that's not a lot we can sell it clothes 10 nothing special gloves 10 bye bye broadsword 107 we keep that we sell that at a better shop sling 2 that's crap and sling 2 that's also crap mm. check the boomerang it's 172 that's quite a lot but we will not sell it here of course apart from that nothing we want to sell Let's see what they sell though. Heavy club, healing pot. Every potion we see here gets identified. That's actually pretty helpful. Boost potion, cool. Rabus resistance. Medium mithril shield, not bad. Kovacs, you're right. We can also cook corpses. So we can uh, make them more durable and they don't rust away that e uh, they don't rot away that easily. Can talk to this guy quickly. That's the master thief. Have a nice day, ma'am, he says. But because we're lawful, he doesn't uh, train lawful people. Apart from that, there's just one guy in here. That's Hotson plots the raider. Um, Hotson plots the crime lord and his guys. But we will probably not uh, deal with Hotson plots right now. Nice, like you're making the stone ooze emoji. Is there anything deadly around that I haven't seen? Make sure to get. Uh oh no, we forgot our our ally. Oh, 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 oh I see it. We we are hungry. We eat the fresh. Maybe that's what you meant. I'm pretty sure it was. So let's take our ally. 
Now go to the good guys, up here. That's Tyrinio, the tiny hamlet. And Tyrinio has a couple of special, pretty nice guys. The first one is the sheriff, right next to us. Tyvat Pare, the sheriff grunts. Find Jurgius, the infamous master thief. Slay him. We need to end the activities of his vile thieves' guild. That's a... N I never got that. Slay Jurgius? Cutting off the head of that snake-like organization seems to be the best option. I heard he is hiding in that rotten bandit village to the southwest. Eyeless, abide the laws and us will be friends. You know, we set bounties on the heads of criminals. Bring him in. We shall slay Jurgius the master thief. That's interesting. That's actually a new one for me. I never had that. Getting hungry again. So it's a nice coincidence that we are in La Vanille Hotel because this town actually has a food shop. Large ration for 15, 23, 23. We know this uh, cheap large ration for 15 is uh, cursed. The ones for 23, because they're a little more expensive, they're uncursed. And this one for 32 gold is blessed. So we can identify the status of these rations just from the price. That's actually pretty handy. I will try to buy the blessed ones if they have more of them. Which they do not. So let's buy two more of the... Oh no, we can just carry one. Yeah, now we can train with Jurgis, but I guess that's life. We already have trap detection, so it's um, probably not that bad. Pay for all the items and eat one of them. That was a great meal. Perfect. There are a couple more special people here. Since we do not have the healing skill yet, I think we will go for it. The guy up there, the druid, could train you in uh, in herbalism or in, uh, in a certain ice spell. But um, what we need, we need healing. So we talk to the village elder, this guy. As village is pestered by critters from the caves to the southeast. The village carpenter tried to explore the dungeon, but was not seen again. Would be great if he could discover his whereabouts. Yeah, we will do that. Now there's just one guy missing that we still have to talk to. Or it's not actually a guy, it's rather a girl. And here you see her, the tiny girl. Has you seen my little doggy? It disappeared near the dark hole on the pass. Me fears it got lost. Would you get it back to me? Hurry, mummy says. There are bad, bad things in the cave. Okay, that's all the quests we wanted. And you know what? I think we might actually try to save the doggy. Kovacs, indeed, we are candleborn, so our regeneration is ridiculously high. But still, I want healing. <laughs> we want full healing power. And I kind of feel like saving the dog is a possibility for this character. We are actually super strong for the early game. Five points of protection, but mostly it's due to our overwhelming missile skills. Which should kill the vast majority of enemies from a distance. Here we find our first named enemy. You meet Hakri the Goblin. You see a rather excited goblin hauling a giant backpack stuffed to the brim with gold and treasure. The goblin is crackling wildly while looking at his loot. That vile deeds, what vile deeds did he have to commit to acquire this horde? We will find out. Only thing we have to do is kill him from a distance. Come on. Okay, he does a little damage to us, but we kill him. Perfect. Down he goes. Thick gauntlets. Nice. That's a uh, safe uh, bonus to uh, protection. Take the rocks. He's got three scrolls, a large ration, and gold. Nice, nice. Let's direct equip these gauntlets, which we cannot because we are uh, wielding a cursed weapon. But well, that's life, I guess.
We are already level 6. That's not so bad. So we might try to dive this dungeon quickly. When we find the downstairs, we might just go down. Because we are on a timer if we want to save the dog. By the way, to those who are rather new to the game, don't try to save the dog. It's actually a newbie trap. Uh, most characters struggle pretty hard to get it done. And um, well, it's, a, it's a cute dog. You feel like a true hero has to save the dog, but seriously. You have to save the world, not the dog. We fall down the stairs because we are heavily uh, burdened. That happens from time to time when you are heavily burdened, which we will be for quite a while until our strength increases. Over there, what you see over there is an ant hive. There will be a big number of ants coming out of that hive, but we will not fight these ants now. They are pretty strong. We might do so on our way back up. Instead, we just instantly climb down. And find our first bow. Interesting, interesting. We will train that later. Let's kill this guy. Yeah, again, our goal is to dive. Oh no, he's 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 uh, friendly. This bat we will not fight it. Our goal is to quickly dive this dungeon. Okay, there is a trap at this door. We detected the trap. You see, the door is now red. That means there is a trap. We will try to avoid this trap. It might be a stone uh, fireball trap that would damage, do damage to us. Kovacs, you would pick herbalism? Uh, maybe. But on the other hand, herbalism is not that important. You can also use the herbs without herbalism. Let's get food preservation above 60. And get dodge a little higher. a large orc. Most of them. Many, many enemies will never get the chance to hit us. Eat this orc cops while we're here. Again, this door is trapped. We will not open it if we can avoid it. Okay, we have uh, two trapped doors now um, that discover uh, that uh, stop us from progressing. We kick this one because we can kick it from a safe position. And it had a flash trap. That's not that bad. The only dangerous trap from a diagonal angle is the fireball trap, which uh, hits all adjacent tiles. This looks like a staircase room. Yes, and it is one. Perfect. I seem to have a delay on the stream. I don't know why. I, I didn't intentionally do that. Intentionally do that. I uh, might check that the next time. I, I the problem is I don't even know how to set up a delay, so I have no clue uh, how to remove it either. I think maybe. Um, oh no no no! That's dangerous. Need to kill these guys, these vipers, quickly as we can. Take a couple of them up with us. Fight them here. Good. Didn't want to get poisoned by them. So if we have a delay, I, I don't know how to remove it. I, I will check that uh, before the next episode, I think. And I hope it's not that bad. 20.59? Okay, it's just one minute. At, uh, at my place, it's 21. So it's at least not a big delay. Kill this guy. We need another stack. Take this. Perfect. Oh, and he had all our gold stolen. Or, may, or did he just carry a thousand gold around with him? And that would be quite a lot. Yeah, Kovacs, it's also possible that I just didn't watch the chat closely enough and I missed your message for a couple of minutes. That's a uh, very... It's not that unlikely. <laughs> Potion. But guys, you see um, how strong these thrown rocks are, especially on a character who focuses on thrown rocks with his talents and who has such a high affinity for this uh, weapon type as, uh, as a Hurthling has. So, we continue with 
dodge above 60. Food preservation is high enough for the moment. I think I'll increase literacy a little bit. As long as we've got these big increases here. Bone amulet, nice. It could be something. I have to clear this room. Mm, hopefully we'll be able to pick up all these rocks while we do so. Before we go down. I think that should be it. So now we're down at the bottom level and you feel excited. This message, you feel excited, means there is a lesser vault on this level. The lesser vault is one thing that is here. It's also the level where we will find the puppy. Ah, okay, Kervox. There are there is a delay feature, and you know it from CS:GO, when people use it in order not to be stream sniped. That makes sense, I guess. In a single-player game, it's <laughs> probably not the most useful feature. Uh, but uh, I, I did not intentionally set up a delay. I know that much for sure. Level eight is more of a hero and less of a chicken. I think so too. But we will not yet clear this level. Our goal is something different. We are looking for the for the dog. We want to get the dog out of here alive, if we can. But where is it hidden? Oh no! There is a corpse on the ground. I have a bad feeling about this. Were we too slow? No! The cute dog is already dead. And we we tried so hard to save it, but we were too slow. Ah, oh, such bad luck. Where did we waste all these turns? I don't know. Well, that means at least we can clear the lesser vault right now. And hopefully pick up a couple nice items. See how many of them get to melee range? Okay, a couple. Still, we will keep throwing rocks because the thrown rocks at the moment are probably our strongest weapon, even in melee range. That's a huge delay. Oh, we find a mithril flail, not bad. Guys, I will I will find out what this delay is about for the next stream. By the way, talking about it, I hope. I will be able to stream on Thursday. Not 100% sure though, because on Thursday I also get my second vaccination, so uh, there is a certain possibility that I will just be feeling like uh, complete and utter crap. But if I will be halfway fine, then uh, there will be another stream. We keep working on this affinity, so we take a next Bose affinity. Strange metal girdle we don't need. Let's. Eat one more of these corpses. Fire opal ring, orange potion. Raudo Testament, by the way, welcome to today's stream. You are right, of course, there is a possibility that the dog was just killed by a monster, even though we were fast enough. I don't think we got the, the, the message that the dog died to the timer. So it's a uh, very reasonable chance that it was probably killed by a monster. Oh, and we killed the Orc Chieftain before it reached melee range. So good. Yeah, thanks Nice. Like, I'm actually pretty happy when I've uh, got the vaccination done. It's, uh... Didn't talk about it on the stream yet, but it's all in all, it's it's a pretty stressful situation the last one and a half years in many different ways. Broad bracers? Aha, uh -huh, interesting. Not quite sure what they do, but we will find out. After killing all these orcs, that means. Sixty seconds delay. 
I don't know how that could happen. I definitely did not try to do that. Probably I misclicked when trying to do something else. Some medium shield. I think it's the same weight as our medium shield. Yes, so it's just a normal one. Can be good bracers. Oh, good works. Let's give it a try. It is bracers of lifting. Not bad. That's definitely not bad. We absolutely take that. And I think that's it for this level. Oops. Okay, I see a couple of uh, spiders around. That means there might be a spider spawner. Anyways, we are done here. So, we tried to save the doggy, but sadly, no chance to do so. Let's go back up. And we might just scout the other levels on the way back up. Except for the cavernous level, which has, of course, a ridiculously high monster spawning rate. We got a strength increase. We've got strength 14 now by a maximum of 14. Okay, we cannot get it any higher without uh, the help of magical means. 14 is not enough. We need... Oh, whoa, 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 danger. Do you see that? That's a fire vortex. And if I'm not wrong, most likely we do not have fire resistance or this glowing ring is not fire resistance. Do we have another ring? Check. Wooden ring, maybe. No, just a fire opal ring. That's not good. If this fire vortex explodes right into our face, we will be in trouble. So we retreat from here. Can kill these guys quickly. Oh fuck, there he comes. Need to kill him now. And I think our best choice is just to throw rocks at him. And we one shot the fire vortex. Yes! Nicely done. Nice job, Corinna. Okay, now I'm feeling safe. Now we can also kill the rest of the room. Werewolves summoning little wolfies. We kill the werewolf first and then the wolfies. From rocks level 7. Plus 14 to hit, plus 10 damage, plus 2 range. That's such an insane weapon this early in the game. And we do not want to kill you. There is a very clear reason why you do not want to kill cats if you can avoid it. Not gonna spoil it for those who don't know it yet. The question is, do we get rid of this guy? Need. Do we have to kill the cat, maybe? Did I just get us into a really bad position and we have to kill it? Yeah, um, Nysek, you can absolutely kill a Fire Vortex with a 1d4 plus 24 points of damage rock. Still got the fresh meat. We do have the fresh meat. You mean we could give the fresh meat to the cat and probably tame it? Let's try that. Give the fresh meat. Cave Lion snatched the piece of fresh meat. Okay, he ate it, but he's still our enemy. Too bad, that did not work. He keeps attacking us. We need to kill these guys. And I think we need to kill this Rattling Warrior first because... Oh yeah, we one-shot him. That's nice. Meanwhile, we get perma-poked by this annoying cave lion. Luckily, kill the Margol quickly. I'd also like to kill this Dark Elf Warrior as quickly as we can. Almost dead. We reached level 10, that's nice. Um, I want alertness above 70, that's just a little step, but we take it. I want archery 60. 
And we keep increasing dodging. Oh, that was a heavy hit. Let's apply first aid if we can. We cannot. It's another heavy hit. Oh, I don't like that. We are getting a little bit low on HP. We killed everybody on the other side now. Oh, fuck. See me, fuck. One of these guys can help us, help us kill the cat. Fuck. Okay. We should have the speed boost now. And I hope we will be able to just run out of here. We don't have a speed boost. But we have... Uh, no more cat right behind us. That's something at least. We can just outrun the hellhound. And go back up to the next level. We can come back later to kill the remaining guys. When we have a little more options to deal with them. Okay, that was a pretty tough uh, mixed tension room. Oh, and you told me I should have taken herbalism. We have an herb level here. Is there also a stable herb square? I think this one cannot be turned into one. At least I don't know how to do that. So we just pick away everything that's there before it disappears. Oh, now it disappears. Our faithful warrior buddy also came back to us. Who just abandoned us for the tough fights. Writing ring, nice. What do we have here? Herb, herb. Kill this raccoon. Herb, herb. Herb, herb. Herb, herb. We've got one stable herb patch here. We will come back because we didn't kill this mixed, uh, this mixed tension room yet. So uh, we will leave this herb square untouched for now. Let's uh, kill these guys. They can ignore our armor. We cannot allow them to go get too close to us. Ghouls can paralyze us. So I'm very happy that we can just kill them from a distance. Um, okay, it's just this, um, this uh, locked door. Watery potion, another one that's nice. And we eat this fire lizard corpse instantly. There is a 50% chance that this gave us fire resistance. Back up to the next level, here are the ants. Uh, we have an increased chance to drop co uh, to uh, spawn corpses already when we kill an enemy. So there is a chance we'll get an ant corpse. And the good thing about an ant corpse is this gives you acid resistance. Intrinsic acid resistance, very helpful because acid damage can be devastating otherwise. Neutral altar, we are not neutral, so that's not useful to us at the moment. We could try to convert it to lawful, but I'm um, not quite sure if we want to. I think it's quite nice that we are walking through this level for such a long time now because that should allow us to uh, that should allow the RNG to spawn a lot of ants meanwhile so we can just kill them and hopefully get a corpse from one of them. Does, that looks good. No, it's just a large ration. Damn. And warrior. Usually very strong but with our super thrown rock skill no chance for them. Giant and worker corpse. Perfect. We eat this corpse. That makes you throw up. Your stomach tingles. And this message, your stomach tingles, means that we are now resistant to acid. That's pretty excellent. There's still a small chance that we could lose this resistance at one point. So if we can get another corpse, we would definitely take it. Let's 
do is one time resistant to acid. Very, very nice to have. Oh, that's a water potion, I think. And you see the damage we're dealing. That's so massive. Yeah, we... <laughs> Yeah, Jurgos is unavailable. I think we will probably stay lawful with this character. I think we will probably stay lawful throughout the game. But you can already see we are way ahead of the curve at the moment. We are stronger than a character should usually be at this part of the game. Yeah, we could convert the altar, but uh, I think we can we get a, a guaranteed uh, lawful altar anyways when once we go to the um, to the western part of the Dracula chain. So it's probably not not absolutely necessary. Let's check for traps. None. We can kick it. Here is a trap. I'd like to avoid that. And I think that's all we can do here. Let's go to the upstairs. Yeah, this was the puppy cave. We will quickly do the beginner dungeon afterwards since we're already here and we want to take a little grind. The beginner dungeon is actually a very easy dungeon. That should not be a problem for this character. We can just run through it and kill everybody with our throne rocks, which is already pretty close to level eight. Which would be totally insane having thrown rocks at level 8 before even uh, entering the, the, the village dungeon. <laughs> you can do that only with the hearthling. Only chance. Also, we already experienced level 10, which is uh, quite a lot. Okay, this is a dark room. Do we have flint and steel? We have torches. Let's uh, use one of them. Um, I didn't want to run into a cat in the in the darkness, so let's extinguish the torch now. Ouch. Just eat this orc on the fly. And then we scout this dungeon from the bottom to the top. First this level, which is the bottom level. Thick girdle, interesting. And a light crossbow, interesting too. And that's something we have to force ourselves to. In the long term, bows and crossbows are the better weapons, the better ranged weapons, but are... Uh, for the moment, the rocks are just so much stronger because we trained them so very well. Maybe once we've reached uh, skill level 8 and... Uh, oh no, a cat. Close the door. Leave it closed. Once we reach skill level 8, we might just uh, swap to a different weapon and just use our... our rocks in case we have to fight something really strong. Cool thing is, we have got a very high level in a weapon category that will never run out of ammunition. Lure some orc or cobalt. Where should we learn? Curve orcs. I think I will just leave the door to the cat room closed and not care about the cat anymore. We'll never see it again. Yeah, the girdle could be nice, or it could be cursed. We will find out eventually. 
Um, I think we need 70 in, in uh, archery for the final talents. So I just increase it in small steps. Find weakness automatically increases. That's the reason why I don't train it. Because you apply it all the time when you uh, just attack your enemies. Oh, a Minotaur. One shot it with the thrown rock. <laughs> <coughs> not bad, not bad. Ah, for converting the altar, that's of course an option. <coughs> nope, I don't think Viper Corpses give you poison resistance. Oh, that's another neutral altar, come on. We want a lawful altar. On the other hand, we don't really need a significant boost to anything at the moment. We are just super duper strong. At least until Dwarf Town, I can hardly see anything that becomes really dangerous for Karina. Cops. That's a potential strength increase, but we don't get one. So let's um, use our torch again. And up to the first level. And extinguish the torch. Oops. While we scout the little rest of this level that we haven't seen yet. Which was absolutely worth. We got another scroll. Scrolls could always be something. This guy is friendly. We leave it like that. this orc, pick up this rock, leave this dungeon. And you know what, guys? I think this is a pretty decent point to end the first episode in the adventures of Karina. We have done a pretty good job getting this character on track. Most importantly, take a look at that almost thrown rocks level 8. This, in addition to... um. Quick shot, keen shot, good shot, and affinity with rocks. That means we get plus 3, plus 4, plus 6 to hit and damage again just by the talents, and we attack faster. We are a beast of throwing these rocks at Karina's enemies' heads. We will continue doing so in the next stream. And I would say... If the vaccination doesn't completely knock me out, I will try to get the next stream done on Thursday evening. Thursday, 8 p.m. or probably quarter past 8, something like that. Thursday, around about 8 p.m. Central European time. I will let you know in on my Discord channel if I don't feel good after the vaccination or so. I will give you a, a short uh, information and just let you know if the stream will take place or not. If it's not on Thursday, then I will definitely try to stream on Sunday. So guys, let me say very, very big thanks to everybody who joined me today on the chat for the start of our new Adom adventure. Those beginners out there watching this episode, did you get a nice hint or two? Please let me know in the comments. Have you got any questions? Anything important I forgot to explain? Also that, ask me in the question, I'll be glad to answer. 
apart from that wishing all of you a good week some nice days to come hope to see you again on thursday until then bye everybody <laughs>